Netta here from Netty Gaming and today I'm going to be talking to you about a Commodore 64. Um, a couple of days ago we bought uh, a C64 on uh, eBay for an absolute bargain. Uh, it was about 40 quid. It, it was boxed. Uh, seen better days so it needs a little bit of a clean up. Um, but we are going to talk about a couple of issues that I've got and maybe that can help others. Uh, but before I do, I just want to mention a couple of things. So it came with no power cables. No, it came with the power cable. It didn't come with the um, cables to attach to the monitor or the TV. Uh, so I went out and bought a connector here and it was from coolnovelties.co.uk where they make a load of cool cables for retro systems so that one was brand new um, and that seems to work absolutely fine no fuss um, um, I use it on an old CRT because I like the the old screens I don't like the idea of um, playing them on new new tellies the pictures just skew if and it looks crap so um, so that's that the next thing that I've bought is the Epix Fast Loader Reloaded. I got that from the Future Was 8-Bit. They are extremely helpful. Uh, their website is very comprehensive, so it tells you about all the little bits and pieces that they do. So that goes into the cartridge slot um, to load games quicker. And then the other thing that I've bought, which I absolutely love, is the SD to IEC cute little drive. Um, which will house the SD card so you can put all your games on there um, and then there's a program which I, I'll talk about in the next um, video about um, how you use the program and how you can play games and stuff like that but the other thing that I wanted to really talk to you about um, is we got it all up and running, we got the SD card plugged in and we were just about to play Rainbow Island and there was no sound. And I thought, oh my god, have I bought a Commodore 64 where they've removed the sound chip because it is known that they are taken out. And when I looked at the back, one of the uh, screws had gone and I thought, oh shit, somebody's gone and uh, taken it out and then I'm going to have to pay for a new... Uh, sound chip but everything looks like it's there and it's in order um, but let me show you obviously it's seen better days so we will uh, we will be cleaning that up and I will do a little video on me cleaning that up a little bit later so if I just lift that away as I say I've unscrewed it already just so that I could show you what I mean and if I just lift away here you can see uh, the inside of the C64. Now, the problem I think I've got is this here, the fuse. So if, I don't know whether you can see, but I've got a feeling that's going to be my problem. So uh, I've ordered a new one. I'm going to take it out, put it in, and fingers crossed, hope for the best, and hope to God that it's nothing else. Um, but I will check in with you guys when it arrives and we will hook it up and see how we get on. I'll speak to you later. Bye! Hello friends, Nettie from Nettie Gaming and uh, it's finally arrived so I am now, <laughs> moment of truth, I'm going to put this in the uh, Commodore 64 and hope to God that fixes our sound problem. Right, so, oh God, moment of truth. I've replaced the fuse. Uh, we're going to turn the system on now and uh, hope this works. So, um, I've got my Epix Fast Load Reloader and my uh, SD card, SD to IEC. So, I'm just going to hold Control Hit Run and go down to my games. Let's find uh, Rainbow Island. Enter. Oh, come on, please. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. 
that no sound from a Commodore, it was just a fuse. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, Jim's going to be so pleased. We were absolutely gutted, you know, when we bought this Commodore, uh, thinking, oh God, there's a problem with the sound. So this is fab. Again, I'm sorry about the screen flicker, guys. I will um, buy one of those fancy units to record retro gaming stuff, so I'm not subjecting you to this crappy... Uh, to the crappy um, flicker. Ah, uh, yeah, F7. Oh, he's gonna be so chuffed, I can't believe it. Again, I'm playing with one hand. <laughs> Oh, so there you go, guys. Anybody else who's got that problem, that's all it is. Uh, just a simple case sometimes of checking the fuse. So it may be the sound chip, but uh, we were very lucky. I think we dodged a bullet in this case. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Ta-ra!